thought I would document this in case it's a complete disaster. I am attempting to bladder mold this carbon fiber weave sleeve inside can't see what I'm doing here inside the handlebars here to strengthen them. So I've got my sleeve set up a string on the end which I ran through with these nuts. Going to, I've got about 16 grams of epoxy here. Well mixed, I think, at this point. I'm going to dope the sleeve and pull it through. So, and then I'm going to blow it up with a bike pump. That's the plan. It's always the plan. out is a question. So I'll start by stuffing this rapidly frame in. in. Let those nuts hang off the end so they go a very, very light tension. Pull this stuff through. Okay. So that Got it. It's working on some parchment paper here because the epoxy doesn't stick to it. Well, when it's liquid, it will, but then it comes off. So. This is about, I think, about eight grams of. eight grams of carbon fiber. So it should take, from what I understand, being a complete amateur, should take about eight grams of epoxy. I've got, inside here I've got peel ply, which is nylon fabric, and then the inner tube. So we'll put a little extra on, probably. and. And we blow up that inner tube, press against the inside walls, and push out extra epoxy into the peel ply. And I hope the peel ply peels away as easily as the name suggests, because if it's all stuck in there, I'm going to be bummed. Uh, worst comes to worst, I could always sand the sand them apart and cut them apart and start again or just trash the whole thing. This is only about a ten dollars worth of tube and a couple bucks worth of carbon fiber sleeve here so it wouldn't be the end of the world. I've never done this particular method before so this is a an experiment for me. So, Oops. Getting close to the end. I want to drop the whole smear on the floor right now. I'm going to weigh this cup after I'm done being very clever. Try to figure out how much epoxy I put on the sleeve. Seems like it's about half gone. Just pulling out my sleeve here and get epoxy on my phone. That would be sweet. Probably should have thought a little bit more about that. Probably. 
reasonably predictable. All right, I'm gonna reach for the scale here. And see how much epoxy I've got left. Eight. Well, what do you know about that? We've used, it looks all wet out. And we've used about exactly what it seems like we should have used. Put a little bit of extra. This is medium cure epoxy and it's about 70. 3, 74 degrees down here in the basement. So when I get this done and the bladder pumped up with a pump, it will sit on top of the heating duct, my usual place for curing carbon fiber stuff. And when it's nice and warm like that, it cures almost completely overnight. So every morning you get a little bit of carbon fiber work to do. All right, now I suspect it's going to get messy. Let's find out how messy here. I'm actually going to dope the end here. The hope that's not a mistake and that it doesn't make it too slippery. I want this to be doped down here too. My tied off end here is tied off before the end of the inner tube, and the inner tube is just like zip tied for closures on it, so I'm actually going to dope these ends slightly here down because maybe they'll stick together and stop fraying so much. Help me out. Now, my only question is, is the epoxy going to leave, have so much? It's going to have more or less friction with this kind of sticky goo all on it here. As it goes through the as it gets pulled through the tube, hopefully. I guess we'll find out right now. Alright. That's down. Yes. Pushed in, come on. Not be too messy. thumb there. Probably should have. Probably should have taped the outside of the tubes, but when they're smooth, like they are now. Yeah, let me shift the camera along because I'm going to be working to my right. The, uh, is that glove breaking? That's on there. Oh, great, I think my glove is broken, so... The epoxy actually buffs right off the outside of the tubes. Oh, look at that. Coming through pretty well. Stretch it a little here. Hold the tube with some paper towel so I don't have to do too much buffing. Okay, we're at the turns now. This is where I'm worried. But it's still going in. don't have a ton of it dripping off the end here, which is good. And now I'm going to take off this tape. He like said, hoping the tape would come off. I'm supposed to be doing Thanksgiving bird right now. I'm a little bit behind. But I think I'll manage. Everybody. About what I wanted. Now, the only question is do I have a good, do I have enough dope on the thing? 
Is it going to stick? So many questions. Have I completely screwed it up? I used a lot of the epoxy. Of course, there's a lot stuck in the brush, but... This end felt a little dry as it came through. I'm a little worried about that. is when that blows up it should shrink the ends in because the sleeve's a little bit like a Chinese finger trap so I've got the Presta there the end there let's lay it down I forgot the pump go grab a bike pump We're all super fancy in this house. This is the Le Monde, like old Target brand pump that I bought like 20 years ago. Be most of my wife and I first started doing bike stuff. It's got dual heads. I can't believe the thing still works. It's actually one of the best pumps I've ever used. I don't know how I don't know how accurate the gauge is, but I don't race. So I'm not really so worried. All right, a little bit of, can we get a drum roll? And look at that. Tube. Pretty firm on both ends. The Presta valve is weak in air while I've got it on here, so let's shut it. And I don't know how well these zip ties are going to hold. That's why I wanted to do this during the day instead of my usual overnight. Let's see, I got a. That's pretty. That is pretty tightly wound, I gotta say. I might. that off a little bit there. I'm sure that's probably adequate. This end looks good. Let's see. Yeah, it's not as not as tight as the other end, but so obviously I'm gonna have a little bit of a flashing mess to clean up on the end there. But that I think, I think it'll get the job done, provided the peel ply will peel out of the inside, I think I'm okay. Two nuts hanging in a cluster. There's nothing funny about that. There you go. So, bladder is inside, got our nylon fabric here which is actually pretty wetted out with 
epoxy, so it's definitely flowing out of the carbon fiber into the nylon. I was going to try to get a layer of uh, breather in there, which is uh, for vacuum bagging and such. It's uh, basically it's like 16th inch uh, fuzzy insulation for jackets. Um, but I didn't think I'd get that through the tube, and I'm pretty sure I would not have. So uh, we may end up with a little more epoxy in the tube than would be optimal, but this handlebar should come in at under 90 grams either way, I would guess. So, right, I wonder if I let's do an experiment. If I squeeze on this, oh yeah, that works. So basically, I'm losing pressure down here. I figured that would happen, and I have a super half-assed solution for that, which I think everyone can enjoy. I go through more gloves doing this. That's probably why those last ones broke, because I was... You know, I should keep them on for this job. My super half-assed solution is to compress the end of that tube with some electrical tape. Guess I can do it. Sticky side in. I use a lot of electrical tape for compressing carbon fiber. has gotten bigger, so there's more pressure down the end there. A little bit more. some green cling wrap upstairs. I'll probably do that. So I think that's it for now. We're going to put it on the duct and see how it goes. Can I shut the camera off?